guys welcome back to my channel and welcome to another makeup tutorial I know that I usually don't upload on Tuesdays but I want to really try and upload at least one video every day for this week before the year ends I just really want to end this year with amazing tutorials and I just honestly feel really inspired by glitter and makeup and a new year and I really 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 wanted to use this specific lip color this is by the brand give me glow and it is called she's all that it is obviously the lip color that I'm wearing right now this is actually a dupe for Jeffree Star's androgyny I believe that's how you pronounce it which sold out within minutes really pretty color i love it and i paired it with a rose gold glitter definitely very appropriate for um new year's and it's more on the girly feminine side so i hope you guys enjoyed this video give me a thumbs up if you did and i believe that is everything enjoy and i will talk to you guys soon bye Okay, so starting off, I'm taking the NYX eyeshadow base and just applying that all over the lid so you guys know that this is my baby. I love this stuff. I'm going to take this first color right here and I am going back again with my Luxie eyeshadows. I just can't stay away from them. This is in the color Dirty and this is more of a transitional color. As you can see, I'm doing a different shape today. I'm really sticking towards the outer corners of my eyes and then blending it in. I'm gonna go in with my second color and this one is called Bitter and these are some of her newer eyeshadows. This is absolutely gorgeous. It's almost like a red tone brown and I am doing the same technique and blending it inwards. This is just really going to diffuse all the colors really nicely and it's going to seem as we have colors going from darker to lightest and I've been really loving this technique as of lately so yeah. Now to the third color I just really wanted to add a little bit more dimension and I forgot to add my tape so I just went ahead and added it. Do that before you do this and it'll look really nice and crispy. But yeah, that third color is called Spiced, and I love this color too. They're kind of similar, but Spice has a little bit more red to it. Blending that and then adding a little bit of black. Um, that black eyeshadow is also from Luxie Beauty, and it's called Sinister. Any black shadow that you have works just fine. I'm really just concentrating that towards the end, and then again, just blending it inwards, just so we can have, again, that gradient effect from darkest to lightest. I'm taking a vanilla shade and applying it to the brow bone and then I am going to take a little bit of Makeup Geek's Shimmer Shimmer and I'm going to apply that since everything else is going to be a little bit matte, that's why I'm doing that. Now for the fun part, the glitter, I'm taking my e.l.f. glitter primer, it's my absolute favorite primer for glitter and then I'm applying this beautiful rose gold glitter from Glitter Injections. I've been obsessed with their glitters, they're so finely milled. They're so gorgeous and they sparkle so much. Like seriously, you look like a disco ball. It is so pretty. So I love, love, love this glitter. I will have all details in the description bar down below as always. I'm going to go in with my NYC black eyeliner and draw my wing as usual. As you can see in a second, I will reveal how it looks without the tape. And if you are new with wing, try this method and I promise you it'll work. As you can see, it looks really crisp and clean. So now I'm just going to go ahead and do my second eye and then I'll be right back. Now I'm going to take the Nivea Men Pose Shaving Balm and I'm going to apply that all over my face. This contains glycerin which just helps your makeup stay put. I've been using it for the past week and I love it so I've been using it ever since. I'm taking the Too Faced Born This Way foundation and I'm first dabbing it all over my face. I use the color Sand and I love it because it's a perfect match to my neck. It literally like matches me perfectly. The only thing with this is that it can make you a little bit Bit oily because it does have a semi dewy finish but once I bake I really don't have much of a problem now I'm gonna take the Maybelline H rewind concealer and this is in a color neutralizer it does have a little bit of yellow undertones which will help cancel any dark circles that you may have so I use this both as a concealer and as a highlight as you can see I take it on my forehead my chin and then with that same brush that I used for my foundation I just blend everything 
I usually like to use my beauty blender, but I've been really digging this brush as well, so I'm blending everything. I'm going to take the Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette. I literally just picked up this palette um, during the week. I just, I don't know, I was dying to try it. I don't know why I didn't try it before, but I really like it. It's really creamy, and I like it so far. Now I'm going to take this huge brush that I got in the mail, and I'm going to mix those two colors. This is actually one of those fake brushes from eBay, but it's supposed to be like that It Cosmetics brush that's like 40 bucks. And I only paid $8, so I was super, super, super excited. I'm going to take this blush, and it's a Maybelline blush. It's super old, but I believe it's called Peach or something like that, but it's a really pretty neutral peach color. I felt like it just went perfect with the pink eyes. Now I'm going to take the Makeup Forever highlights and this is a number two. And I'm going to take one of my highlight brushes from Luxie Beauty and this is the Dreamcatchers collection. So I'm going to apply that to my nose as well as my cupid's bow, my chin, and then I like to take that a little bit on top of my brows just to balance all the highlighting. Now I'm going to take a nude color crayon. This is actually a base, but I'm going to take that to my eyes and then I'm going to and then I'm going to be repeating the same steps to my lower lash line as I did to the crease above and just really smoking it out because I didn't want to do black, but I still wanted to be very glamorous. I'm going to take Give Me Glow. Oh wait, no, it's called She's All That by Give Me Glow. On the other way around. Anyway, so I'm going to take this color, perfect color, Dupe for Androgyny by Jeffree Star. Check it out if you haven't. That is it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.